I think where they've been able to really tr have tremendous uh, strides are it does cut and coagulate much better than it did back in 1995 or 96. It is smaller, it's easier to use, it's more ergonomic, and the approach from an engineering standpoint as to how it's designed is incredibly more refined. Some of the first cases that I can recollect using this type of energy source were at the time when people were performing more laparoscopic hysterectomies. And I just remember thinking how much versatility this device had and how many different ways you could use it to dissect, cut and coagulate all in one device. We had a five millimeter handpiece where you could coagulate and cut tissue, ablate endometriosis, lice adhesions, excise adhesions or endometriosis but it eliminated the need for unipolar electrosurgery. We have in our hands an instrument that can be used not only as a coagulator, it can be used as a dissector, it can be used as a retractor, it can be used as a pair of scissors. Being able to use one device for every laparoscopic surgery that I do, I think is really important because it means my setup is the same, so it's easier for OR staff to always have the right instruments out for me. It combines all this into a perfect tool, actually, where you can use it for dissection, you can use it for blunt dissection, you can use it for sealing. So you have a really multi-functional tool. I use the harmonic as a dissector, as a grasper, and as a vessel sealer. And I've actually evolved my practice now to include sealing vessels up to seven millimeters. It delivers a energy that combines tissue dissecting with tissue coagulation without a circuit that runs right around the patient's body. So everything in laparoscopy is about visibility. And even if you have the smallest amount of, of blood loss, it could just be a couple red blood cells, but it's going to stain your peritoneum and your retroperitoneal area and mess up your dissection. And so I think having that combination of the dissection and the coagulation in one device is exceedingly helpful. It's really just a multi-use instrument that can be used for so many different uh, patients, so many different scenarios. And so it's been really exciting to watch how that technology has changed over time.